if you were tasked with designing a computer science program at university, how would you structure it to try and start people on the journey to develop the kind of expertise that you're talking about? How much freedom do I have? <laughs> <laughs> okay, You've got I, complete I, freedom. I, because oh, because... <laughs> wow. All right. So on day one, every student brings in a lump of gold. Now, um, so... <laughs> I actually, that's a really interesting question. And I actually did experiment with that. So I've had um, some beliefs about university education of computer science for a long, long time. And I had no uh, factual basis for it. So I contacted a local university and said, hey, I, I'll, I'll teach some classes for you because I wanted to mm -hmm. see what was actually really going on. Um, and so I'm a little better informed about that than I was previously. If I was designing a university program, I would first of all say, who is it for, right? Is this for people who want to become programmers or is it for people who want to become computer scientists? Mm -hmm. Um, in the same way, so my son went to Embry Riddle, which is an aeronautical college, yeah. and they they have two. Effectively, they have two programs. One of them is the um, flying side of it, which involves a whole bunch of you know engineering and everything else. But the focus is flying, and the other side is the engineering side, where the focus is the science. Um, and I would say the same thing applies to com uh, computer uh, education. I think for people who want to learn computer science, then the current course structure, although remarkably tedious, is probably not a bad place to start. Mm -hmm. um, most of the people that teach at university have never been paid to program in their lives. They have no idea what programming actually is. Um, yeah. I was dealing with fourth-year students who had never, ever been shown what a test was. Yeah. Um, when I told them to write tests, I got code that output strings of ones or zeros, and then was told that it was working if the pattern was one 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 zero zero one zero one one. <laughs> you know, um, I had. I mean, honestly, they had no idea. They've probably never written a program more than fifty lines long in their entire yeah. time there. Um, so what I would do is I would. First of all, say I don't believe that computing is should be an engineering, sorry, a academic discipline. Mm -hmm. I think the ideal way to learn programming would be an apprenticeship. Yeah. So how would I structure a course along those lines? Is I would give people, and I'd have to sit down and work it out on you know exactly, but give them maybe six months of the basics yeah yeah what is binary what is a computer what is programming how to use source control how to write a test and then i would arrange for a year of outplacement where they would basically be interning um yeah. in the real world and the reason for that is that anything you try to teach them about software development is solving problems that they don't even know exist. Yeah. Yeah. Um, you say to them, oh, it's it's a good idea to test, or it's a good idea to use, use version control. And that's just pure theory. That's just pure words, right? It's an algebra yeah. you're teaching them. But if they go out in the real world and discover, oh, God, I just messed up my code and I can't get it back, well, that's yeah. actually, you know, that's a lesson they have to learn. So send them out for a year, bring them back in again, and then teach them, uh, some of the theory behind some of the practices they were doing. So this would be when you would be talking about, you know, feedback and thinking about mechanisms of getting feedback. You'd be talking about um, large scale, or well, not large scale, design overview kind of stuff. The ideas of coupling and yeah. and dependency injection, all this kind of stuff, right? You'd be teaching them. Um, you would you would be teaching them that there are many kinds of programming and they all work together and you need to learn them all. You, you can't just sit there and say, I'm an OO programmer. And yeah. then I would send them out again um, for another year. And then finally, I would bring them back in 
and I would have a final wrap up year or whatever on basically tying everything together and mm -hmm. setting them up, um, developing the habits of uh, working in teams and of learning continuously. Yeah. Uh, that would be my kind of program for, for um, basically a guided apprenticeship. An, yeah. an apprenticeship. So, so, we, we did that at one of the places that, that I worked. We, we, decided, we were doing something quite difficult. We were building a very high performance system. And we decided that we were going to hire people that we knew personally and trusted and wanted to work with. And we were going to hire young people straight out of university and then try and brainwash them into the, our way of working. Right. And we, we kind of we kind of did it with pair programming and test driven development and all of those sorts of things. And I'm very proud that we we helped to get several young people on a really good footing of you know being being really good software developers that way i i, I agree with you entirely in, t in terms mm. of you know you need to it, it's it's a learn by doing kind of exercise it, I, I this might be rather highfalutin but but i i think it's rather it's rather like surgery you don't le learn surgery in an academic sense you you learn it by learning the you know the, the mm -hmm. The, the the academic things and then going and practicing it and trying out under close supervision of somebody that's done it before right, exactly and, right exactly you know, right yeah but I, I suppose that's a difficult thing to do with the the explosive growth of you know programming and the relative shortage of um old duffers like you and me with some ex you know some experience but um but uh, but you know you certainly need that that, that that helping hand in early early in your career, I think.